Frankfurt's still the way to go for this. Even though it's going neck and neck with Milan. I'm gonna go with Frankfurt. Alright, so... It's been a while since I've uh, done any uploads. So I'm gonna try to come back strong. As strong as I possibly can and uh, release new content for you guys. And... Well, I thought we'd start with uh, Let's Play videos. And... I'm gonna jump right into Path of Exile, getting ready a little bit for the new um, expansion that's coming out. I think it's the Ascending, or just plain Ascending, one of the two. So for this video I'm gonna go into creating a new character, and I'm gonna go Hardcore. For all of you that don't know, basically Hardcore characters, uh, they can't die, uh, more or less. Well, they can die, but as soon as they die, they drop into standard lead. And when a hand uh, character is killed, a character killed in Hardcore Talisman, the Talisman becomes a standard character. A character killed in Hardcore becomes a standard character. Now, I don't know what the point to like, to tell you the exact point of um, I am a warrior raised right to honor my ancestors. To die like with a weapon in my hand and the Karui way in my blood. Hardcore characters, Warrior please note that dead hand can be restored for any reason. Okay. For three years I have lived without my family. Basically, I don't know to explain uh, exactly the, pr the the plus, the advantages of playing hardcore. You know, I mean, most I gather is that it's just better loot, I guess, a higher percentage drop in loot, and from there on it's just a matter of, uh, you know, prestige, you know, you could say, hey, I am uh, was able to go up to level 50 on hardcore without dying, which is actually pretty hard. Um, especially if you get some, like, really strange latency drops every now and then. Yesterday I was having 1,500... MS on my latency up here, and it was <clears throat> it was a normal average day. It was like uh, averaging around uh, 90. I was playing on the uh... wait, hold on, change that here. I'm gonna laugh if I die before I even get before I even start hardcore league. Alright. Um, yeah, it was running at 90 MS pretty much all the time, and then it was getting some crazy spikes. And I'm not talking about like those usual spikes, but like about you know, 200 MS and 300 MS. Not happy from time to time. This was like 1,500 MS. It's pretty fucking crazy. Anyway. Quick rundown for anybody not familiar with this kind of games. The whole idea is to just run around, hack and slash, kill what you find, and uh, kill whoever's in front of you and start looting everything you find. I'm actually not used to looting everything at the moment because uh, I got a level 61 character finally uh, running around, so I'm used to leaving most of the items on the ground. I'm just collecting whenever I see a rare uh, magic rare item. You'll see those for whoever for those of you that aren't really familiar with this kind of game. You'll see what I mean later on. See I just left that again. I am <clears throat> saying quick rundown. Hack and slash. Uh, fixed view, fixed camera view, you run around killing enemies you have your quests here, don't have any quests in uh, yet because it just started. You have your inventory of all the things you collect here, change weapons. You have your skills down here. You can actually select which shortcut does which skill. Your skills are gems that you can actually collect from the ground. Weapons, armors and stuff like that is pretty self-explanatory. Here you have your shortcut bar, your belt bar for 
your flasks and potions that you want to use and the rest of them is just in, you know, relevant little details like uh, your friend lists, uh, you can create parties, public parties, join them straight away and then go right away as soon as you has a very easy social uh, social menu pretty much allows you to get right into it without or I mean, you can even make a party without even bothering like we don't even kill these guys before I do that so you don't create party type a description start create public you must reach first time before you can ah okay so you just it's as simple as that you create a, a party if you see a party here that you like you open it up you know, join you see who's in the parties like this one here for example has got those three guys level 11 8 9 duelist shadow shadow it shows you the classes you can go join it shows you their levels 8 to 11 and where each one of them is lionized watch the lower prison and so on so forth it's pretty it's a pretty nice uh, menu for uh, social for social menu. Latency is looking pretty good so far. Yeah, the Talisman League has better drops and um, because I, I like to play on Standard League, because that's where I'll go, where I got all my loot, all the things that I have found, everything. And if I select the normal Talisman League, I have no idea how exactly they work yet. I think they're timed to a certain period, and as soon as they end, you go to Standard League, not sure. But the good thing with Hardcore League is that hardcore talisman leagues that as soon as I die I'm dropped to I'm dropped into the standard league which means that I have access to all my loot from my normal uh, from my other characters and I can also bring across whatever loot I want from hardcore so you know it's one of the reasons why I chose the hardcore league actually and if we die, we die. Whatever. See how far we can go. <clears throat> Hopefully, quite far. I'm getting a lot of damage here. This is <clears throat> strange. I don't know if this is the... because it's a talisman league, but I don't think I have ever been taking this much damage from in the initial character startup. For any of the characters that I've, that I've made so far, I, I doubt I've ever been, I've been taking as much damage before. <clears throat> okay. So, in my in veteran old old school Diablo fashion. I'm going to. Oh wait, the bosses are. What you got, bro? Smack some sense. Into it. There you go. Those yellow items are the. I don't know if they're magic or rares. I think they're magic. And rares are the blue items. Right, so now we're in town. I can create a public party, and as soon as you have uh, two or more people in it, you can uh, switch it to private straight away. You have your looting options. And we just go right here, create party. Just checking party system app. Uh, don't join. <laughs> you can write whatever you want. Pretty much. This is your party. You can leave it. 
it shows you where you are, your level. You have item allocation mode here, short allocation for parole, whatever. And you can find your party here as well. There it is. It shows you the allocation. So, current fight, I'll leave it. Simple as that. I'm going to. Drop those in there and we'll start collecting all loot. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can and uh, take you through this. There's a lot of little neat tricks that you can learn in this game. I'm hoping that I can pass some of those along. And there's a lot more that I don't know. Ground Slam, Molten Strike. I think I like Molten Strike. That's the first thing that I can teach you. Portal scroll. Holding control and selecting something allows you to buy it straight away. I don't have enough. Um, okay, I'm gonna sell that. Yeah. I need to be in the cell type to sell that. Control and left click straight away buys or sells something. Purchase, I can't buy another pose. Okay. Did you see in the chat your team telling you TP or TP up? That means that the portal is That's a town portal, it's from a Diablo reference. Okay, so I'm gonna change my weapon thing here. My so I can make my uh, standard attack to be straight away the heavy strike. And the right click is this weird molten thing area of effect. I'm not gonna add any skills just yet because I don't know which way I want to go with that. I was thinking about doing a uh, Mjolnir, whatever it's called, that uh, build with the big hammer. Yeah, your skills level up as you use Not as you use them, as you have them equipped. Having a skill equipped and collecting experience straight away gets that, uh, that, that skill to level up. Play it best. Right now, because it's very early, and it's a hardcore league and I've got nothing here to help me out I'm going to collect everything even the shittiest loot ever I'm gonna upgrade that oh yeah that's what I want to do, I want to change that and put that there that's what I want armor 15, alright, perfect Say they, they're, they're doing a lot more damage to me than I expected them to be doing. Strangely enough, usually I'm, I'm not cruising through this much easier. Look at that. gotta use a lot of potions. Your potions, they fill up as you kill enemies. 
So that's a good thing about them. You don't need to buy health flasks or whatnot. A million health flasks. Which also makes the properties of the health flasks to be kind of on the levels of, of weapons and items where you can actually have, you know, like 20% increased uh, stun duration of enemies. And you can have things like that on. Which is a good thing. Just not just a one-time piece of the potion. Really like it. Okay, there we go. Level 3. Just started and we're already level 3. We can also use our bow here. Wow, he's so slow. He's so slow, it hurts. Whoops. I wanted to identify. Usually, I have my scrolls of wisdom down there. Well, since I opened it, I might as well jump in and uh, make some money and buy another portal. Anyway, slow day, I guess. There's a lot of people playing hard mode talisman. That's it's pretty crowded. First town thingy right there. Alright. <clears throat> Got enough for another portal. No buy. Purchase items. Control left click. Buy it. Straight away. I'm gonna put that where I usually have them so I don't mix it up again. I got an orb of alchemy on the go. I want to see if actually I get better drops. Because I already got an orb of augmentation and transmutation shards straight away. An orb of alchemy. And this is like what? First played. These are first 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This. Uh, I don't know if it always drops like this and. Talisman? I think I'm going to be making hardcore talisman characters a lot more. And for those of you that are thinking, well, how are you going to bring the, um, all the loot across? You just make a uh, temporary, uh, a new temporary hardcore character. Uh, you load him up with all the items you want to transfer across. You go out into the wilderness and you let them kill you. And we're at 150. 200 spike, 400, it's that to get bad. Okay, I'm not on the best connection possible. Do not change this again. Game. I'm not on the best connection possible, but that's kind of one of the reasons why I. Whoa! So those are the talisman gags. What do they got? Deep one talisman. What is this? What? What? Wait. Twenty percent increased cold damage. Corrupt. Why is it corrupted? Huh. Okay. Please don't kill me. I just started. I'm not having fun here. It's a shame that I can't drop across some of the items from the standard league, like boots with 25 walking speed on them plus 25% walking speed because he is slow alright a little uh, hint here whenever you see a socketed item that has three sockets of any of uh, all the three different colors connected to each other, that's a chromatic orb, right there for you. 
Now the sockets are used for putting skills in them. And there are three different types of skill trees. Pretty much skill skill types. There's the green skills, which are ranged and they're kind of assassins, fast attacks, stuff like that. Then there's the red skills, which are either fire or... Oh, there's also poison on the uh, green skills. Then there's the red ones, which is usually fire and a lot of melee skills, life steal, stuff like that. Then you have the blue skills, which are mostly all the other lightning, ice, and, uh, lightning, ice, and mana kind of uh, related skills like uh, mana steal, shields, create energy shields, and stuff like that. So yeah, you can only use your skills depending on what color socket you have. You have to pop the skill into the correct one. Now, you'll notice here that these don't have any links. Uh, this here doesn't have any links between the sockets, these ones do. There are also support gems out there, which actually can make a skill stronger or whatever. It might make it add fire damage to something strike multiple times and so on and so forth and when you have any item with all three colors even if it has like six gem slots on them if those three if any three colors are connected between each other at least once that's a chromatic orb blue green uh, blue green and red Connect together on any item equals one chromatic orb. And chromatic orbs are very useful, they're used quite a bit for uh, that's a nice bug there. They're very useful, they're used for a lot of trading, but they're also very useful. That's another thing with the currency in this game. You're gonna have a lot of hard time getting into it. It's gonna feel overwhelming at the beginning, but it's um it's not that hard actually. And it's not that hard at all actually. And the thing is that all your different all the different orbs and gems that you collect for for trading, they all do something. So ultimately you find that pretty soon um, what the most common currency is because you know people it, it, it's gonna be usually something that people are gonna want to use a lot. Like a chromatic orb. What a chromatic orb does is it changes the color randomly between Show me the way. items. So say I do a chromatic orb on this boy, it might end up being two reds, two greens, or one green, one blue. You know, just randomly change the color. And that could be very helpful because you might have a specific skill set that you want to use with its own support gems or whatnot, and you have an item that's really cool and you want to use that specific item, but it doesn't have the sockets that you want. It doesn't have the color sockets that you want. So it's very helpful and usually the more helpful, more useful um, orbs and gems are the ones that are actually more commonly uh, used in trade as well. So it's pretty self-explanatory, it's pretty, yeah. It's understandable to the point. Still alive. Now we're gonna sell some more items. I don't have enough to actually buy for um, scrolls of wisdom, so I'm just gonna sell these as they are. Now notice that as soon as I sell this, is gonna give you a chromatic. There you go. That's a chromatic orb. Reforge the color of sockets on an item. Randomly, that is. So we'll take all that. Thank you very much. And another thing to keep in mind is so you can go to the items to purchase them, and you can check. Do they have any items that are tricolored? I'm gonna call them tricolored, like this one here. There you go. So, for one scroll of wisdom, I am gonna buy a chromatic orb here. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I think that's more than worth it. I'm gonna sell items, one chromatic orb. Simple as that. And you keep that in mind, especially at the beginning when you don't have many things and many, many items you want to build up. There's another one right there. I need another scroll of wisdom, don't I? Yeah. Come on. Damn it. Sell items. Can I sell this? 
Yes, I can. Purchase items. Alright. Come here. And now that's another corp. And that's it. 20 minutes into the game, we already have three chromatic orbs and the rest of it. Well, quick rundown just so you can show you what I was saying before. This one here upgrades an normal item to a rare right. That's a pretty, that's a pretty useful, uh, that's a pretty useful tool right there for you. That's why this one here is one of the rare trading, trading orbs. Upgrades a normal item to a magic item. This is shards that create one of these, 20 of these. Enchants a magic item with a new random property. Improves the quality of an armor. Reforges the color of sockets on an item. And there's like about 20 of these different kinds of orbs and stuff. So yeah, that's the good thing with the current set. I mean, on the one hand, it's a little bit more difficult to get into it and understand it and figure it out. On the other hand, Everything is used in some way, and that is exactly the reason why it becomes easier at a point. Because you say, well, what's more important even to me? What, what do I consider as something that's much more useful? And that's pretty much how they scale between them. That's, that's, that's the fast version. That's the best I can do for a quick version of explaining it.